Yeah, have you thought that you had reached the end zone? Is that kind of no, nah, I ain't. Oh, no, nah, I didn't think I had scored. That's why I spiked. I was mad that I got caught. Were you aware of that rule? Yeah, did you know that rule? No. How frustrating was it to see you guys get that close and knowing that, you know, the first half was going kind of some life, you might have had a different outcome? Yeah, we just got to start faster next time. What sort of work went well for you guys in the fourth quarter? Uh, I feel like the passing game um, opened up. Um, Teddy started making uh, the right decisions. She got open and he just hit him. Do you feel like you guys stuck with the run game better this week, even kind of towards the end of the fourth quarter? There were a few runs that turned Yeah, out. I feel like we did pretty good. Do you notice anything different in the Steelers' defense that allowed you guys to have more success in the second half, or was it just sticking with what you were doing and eventually working on it? Um, I think uh, we were just sticking with what we were doing and started working on it. Mm, definitely. Um, that and like penalties and stuff like that. I feel like that really hurt us. Yeah. Uh, well, if we want to be what we want to be, um, it's just something that can't happen. You know, we can't start out slow. We can't wait till we uh, get in the hole and then you know come together as a unit and you know try to pull it together at the end. You know, this is the National Football League. It's just too hard. Um, to, and, you know, some games you're gonna be able to do it, but um, you know we we can't make a habit out of out of out of that you know sl uh, slow start. So you know some we just gotta we gotta figure out as a group collectively. Um, you know I don't think no coaches uh, can get that get that job done for us. Um, that's gonna be on us as players. I mean, I guess, um, you know, it's, it's a lot more plays to be made out there. Um, I guess, are you talking about him spiking it or just that big play? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it happens, man. Um, I mean, as far as him spiking the ball, I mean, it's just emotions. Uh, I, I don't think he was, you know, he did that for taunting or anything. He was just kind of probably ticked off that he didn't score. He was just so close. You know, I've been there before. Um, you know, so we're we're not mad at him about it. We had a hundred hundred thousand more plays we could have made to to change the outcome of the game. And, you know, it'd be terrible to say that that was the one that could have made a difference. Melvin, what was the uh, lower leg injury that popped up on the injury report the last couple of weeks? How much has that bothered you? Yeah. Um. Well, I'm gonna keep it to myself. You know, man, I don't want that out and guys be aiming at me. Um. But it's something I've been dealing with. It is what it is. It's part of football. Um. You deal with it every day. Um. You know, as far as the rotation, I don't think it changed much. Uh, we split every series. We go every other series. It's just kind of it's how me and Phil did it. Um, that's how me and Vontae doing it. So, um, you know, I don't think it's changing much. Uh, if I need a breather or anything like that, I know Vontae going to come in. And if he need a breather, vice versa, we're going to get the job done. Expectation do not go down. Hey, Melvin, three and three and two and getting that done on the team. How much can you use your going six weeks with how these yeah. lines Yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, you use it when you see guys, you know, walking around with their heads down like the world's over. Um, and I've been in a position worse than this and came out 12 and 4. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, b bothered, not not any by, you know, by being 3 and 2. Um, it was the best start I've started out with since my uh, since I've started playing ball here in the league. Um, and it's 3 and 2, man. It's a lot of football left, you know. You, you, I mean, who knows? You go win the rest of the games and have two losses. You know, you never know. Um, you know, you can't get down when you see guys getting down on one another. Uh, that's when you step in and you use your voice. I don't see that, but uh, if we do, you know, we make sure we clean that up quickly. Chris, thank you, Melvin. Thank you, Melvin. Coach, what, uh, what happened Friday and how close were you and Dante or Quinn? I mean, what were, what were kind of the last couple days like for you? Uh, yeah, you know, um, just at practice, um, just came down wrong, rolled it. Uh, yeah, you know, got got treatment on it and everything, and um, stayed on top of it from literally from the moment it happened Friday till shoot this morning. You know, and um, you know, got you know, luckily blessed, I was able to you know go out there and help the team. What got the passing game going in the fourth quarter? Uh, just I, I think just uh, you know opportunities. You know, um, 
we got opportunities to go make plays down the field, and guys were making them. And uh, I think that's that was like a you know a big a big part of the reason why we just more opportunities, more chances to go make the plays, to go 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 at those DBs, and um, we were able to you know get something going. You know, it's uh, it's 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 a lot of things that they go into it. You know, um, playing offense, you got to get eleven guys doing their job. You know, literally perfect so that you know a play can work. You know, if we're running the ball. You know, every everybody is accounted for a person that they got to block, including us on the outside. And if some if one person misses that block, you know, the play can be blown up. So um, there's a lot of you know mit, you know a lot of pieces that go into it to for us to be successful. And you know, in the past game, same thing. You know, everybody has to do their job. Route, receivers got to be at the right depth. Um, you know, everybody has to, you know, be doing their job in order for plays to work. And, um, you know, it, it can be one, you know, one person or not even a person just having a bad play, but, you know, just a, a person just not winning their rep and it can blow up the whole play. So I think, uh, you know, our, our job is to, you know, find those things and then eliminate them so that we can start fast, so that we can get the momentum rolling early and not be trying to play from behind and or, you know, even in tie games going into halftime. We want to be able to start fast and, you know, have guys on the ropes going into halftime and coming out of halftime so that it's, it's not a, you know, tooth and nail fight, you know, to get that lead coming out of half. Probably two, two plays, the touchdown, and then the final play of the game where Ted picked off the biggest for both of those and the emotion after each one. Yeah, um, the touchdown, you know, we needed a big play. We needed to be able to score quick and, and give our defense a chance to go out there and stop them so we can get the ball back to, you know, ha you know have a chance to go win the game. and. Uh, you know, we had an opportunity uh, down the sideline, and um, you know, my, my mindset is, you know, obviously make every play that comes to me. But in that situation, it was, you know, the team needs us to go make a play so that we can, you know, be in this and have a fight. And um, you know, I just had an opportunity to go make a play and was able to make it. And then, you know, at the end of the game, uh, you know, we ran a play. Uh, the guy made a good play, you know, and it's unfortunate, but you know, he made a good play, and it is what it is, you know. Um, you gotta. You know, watch the film, learn from it, and uh, you know, just hope that it doesn't happen again. Try to prevent it from happening again, I should say. How did you guys get better on the third down and conversion? That was easy for you to take on the field. Yeah, you know, it, it's a similar situation. We got to go in and, and evaluate the situation, evaluate why we haven't been having success. What's what is the reason for us not having success? What are the defense is doing to us? What are we doing to ourselves to you know prevent us from being able to um, convert on third down? I think you know early in the season we, we were pretty good at you know standing on the field and it was a big part of why we were having the success that we were having and um, you know not standing on the field it's obviously very hard when you go I think our first three possessions were three and out that's not you know it's, it's, it's tough not only on us but it's tough on the defense because they're only getting three plays of a break and then they have to go right back on the field and go play again and so you know um, stand on the field it helps you know not only us obviously the chance to go score but it helps the defense as well and um, you know today we just we, we weren't standing on the field and we got to go, you know, go evaluate it, figure it out, and, you know, fix that problem. Right, thank you. Good. Thank you all.